Okay, so it's Monday morning about 10.30. Clouds are out, but the sun's kind of out, and they're predicting mostly sunny. There was a little bit of rain last night. Um, that was good for the garden, apparently, because we've got a couple of updates here. Remember these two over here that weren't giving me anything, and I was just about to dig them up? Well, we got a couple of seeds of popping. So i got to remember which one's E and which one's F. I think... Well, I'll figure it out, and I'll, I'll give them better labels than the uh, tape that's there. Um, anyway, uh, everything else is about the same as, as it was in all of these planters. I'm going to trim off some of the dead leaves. Like over here, we've got some dead a dead leaf there. And if I work my way over here, we've got a dead leaf on this one. We've got a couple dead leaves on that one. I keep saying I'm going to trim this one. I'm finally going to do it. Let's look at the tomatoes. Okay, no major change on the tomatoes. I'm, I'm still wondering if it's going to give me anything, but I'll leave it there for now. The other development is over here is the chamomile. It's finally starting to sprout. So the rain last night helped. The sun that we've had for the last week or so has helped. Uh, we work our way across here. I can see some itty bitty little ones in the basil. Uh, another one down there. And let's see, is there any here? Yeah, there's one tiny one there. So, that's pretty much where the, uh, the, the basil and the chamomile are finally starting to come up, as well as a couple more squash. So, I'm a happy camper. Okay, so it's late morning Wednesday. There was no update from yesterday because it was day three on the uh, entryway floor, scraping up the, uh, scrubbing off the finish at my parents' place. Anyway, moving on. Uh, progress in the garden, um, mainly in the flats or uh, half flats, quarter flats, whatever you want to call them. These little six packs that I've reused. Um, I'm doing, I'm getting some good results here. I'm happy to see the plants up in these two pots getting a little bit bigger. Uh, not much with the lemon cucumber. Uh, still nothing here or here, which would be the uh, the baby watermelon and the scallop squash, but I have scallop squash down here. So, moving over here, the other tree, nobody cares. Um, the two whole beans, which actually look almost like they're getting smaller. Um, the other lima bean, which eh, it's still growing, so we'll see. The tomato looks, there's a lot of green here, but unfortunately these buds don't look like they've amounted to much. So we'll see if it turns into anything. Over the flowers are basically still growing. We got this planter here, which I only put in a few days ago, and um, Already it's kind of looking like the peas were almost dying, but then I realized I hadn't watered them and since I planted them, so I give them a really good dose of water. You can see the water dripping down here. And we move on over to the chamomile. And you can see a bunch of plants now that look a little bit more like grass than a flower, but uh, we'll give it time. We'll see what it looks like. I don't know. I've never grown chamomile before, so I don't know what it's going to end up looking like. And then over in the herbs, you're probably not going to be able to see much as far as the herbs here. Really tiny growth. We'll see if it turns into anything. That's it for today. Okay, it's Thursday, a little past 11, and here's the quickie update. Um, I did move a few things. Uh, I basically realized yesterday that, um, well, actually a couple of things here. One, uh, in, in these two planters, or in some of these planters basically where it didn't seem like anything was growing, I realized the soil level was rather low. So I actually popped all the soil out carefully and put more soil underneath so that the rim of the, um, the pot didn't actually create a shadow and prevent sunlight from getting to the top of the soil there. Actually, and I moved the tree over here, but um, you can kind of see where there's a shadow on that one. Anyway, so that's that, and I also I realigned everything this morning so that uh, 
you can see that they're getting a little bit more sun. Well, now it's in my shadow, but you can see that they, they'll get more sun. So I'm hoping that more sunlight will equate to more growth. Um, other than that, I gave the tomato a, a shot of milk, and I need to do some deadheading along the top here. Um, the chamomile is starting to grow, so that's, that's making me feel good. Um, still no real progress on the uh, basil, but we'll see. Okay, so it's Friday, just afternoon. Uh, I decided to do a little bit of work in the garden today. Um, I took the two spaghetti squash, I think it was spaghetti squash. Yeah, spaghetti squash out of the uh, little flat there. Um, I also took, let's see, there was two more in here, and I transplanted them all into this bigger pot. So now I've got four of them in this pot. I'm going to let them grow a little bit longer uh, roots, and we'll see where we go from there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I actually have a, I've been kind of hiding it or, or not mentioning it, but uh, as bad as the watermelon situation has been where none of the watermelon seeds have taken outside, I was running a bit of a test in the kitchen on the windowsill, which if you look at last year's videos, you'll see I did some stuff with the windowsill. Um, and that one seems to have succeeded, so I think I'm going to take it outside. I'm going to drop it in this pot. I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so here's one of my little bottle greenhouses. Um, this one's a little bit different from the other ones. I tried a different experiment this time. Um, you can see these little balls in here. These are uh, called crystal soil, and what they do is they, they come as like, like one millimeter, less than two millimeter size balls, and you put them in water and they soak up the water. And so what I did was I dropped some seeds in there, and that's a watermelon seed. So I'm now going to extract this by pouring the contents of this into that, and well, I'll update you afterwards. All right, so I've managed to empty the contents, but the one seed remained in the bottle, so I might have to use some water to get it out. Okay, so I added a bit of water, and it was a fairly soft landing. And here is... Trying to do this without. Well, you can kind of see the seed there. I'm going to stop shooting and, and do it carefully. Pretty wild. You can actually see all the little hairs coming off and everything, but that's what it looks like extracted. Uh, so those water beads really, really helped. And I'm probably going to order some more and plant a few more on the windowsill in the kitchen. And there's the transplanted seed, which is a little hard to see, but if you look for a little bit of green, Okay, one last bit. I finally sort of made a decision, and uh, since this tomato plant's been showing so much signs of life, even though those few buds didn't really, they haven't really turned into anything, but then they haven't completely died out either. But I decided to move it up to the uh, corner here where it'll get a bit more sun. Um, I mean, I thought this thing was pretty much a lost cause. I was cutting branches off of it and kind of letting it die, but uh, it seems to have bounced back. So to the person who suggested the milk, thank you. Um, you may have saved this plant. You may have gotten me a couple of pineapple tomatoes for this year. Who knows?